started in a Wuhan lab Soon blamed it on a battle of crab Said it would stay in a foreign land Now we're wearing masks today We can't watch our bands It wasn't born in the USA It wasn't born in the USA The China virus has been very mean to me by being a hoax, and that statement will not come back to haunt me later this week. So, I know it's kind of a hard time to be patriotic right now, but we gotta try, right? I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be American. Okay, so this week we're working with the iPads. They're pretty nifty. They got these cool cases and all the apps you need are already downloaded on here. So I'm gonna show you how to go through Gaia GPS, measure an area, Esri Explorer, and measure an area, and the difficult one, Avenza, because you actually have to download a base map. You can get some for free, and I'll show you how. Okay, so the first app I'm going to show you how to use is Gaia GPS. Open it up in the iPad, and you can either sign in or use the free version. Once you do, find an area that you want to measure. For me, I'm going to measure this lake, which is in the neighborhood where I live. To measure an area... Select the plus sign with a circle and create area. Then you will see this red triangle with blue waypoints. You can then just simply adjust the waypoints by dragging and dropping them, and you can add new ones by selecting the red line and dragging and dropping. Create as many waypoints as you need in order to match the exact shape of the area you are measuring. So when you're done, you can then edit the name of this area and then select it and it'll show you all the information on that polygon you created. It looks something like this. Now for Esri Explorer. When you open the app, hit the green arrow to navigate to where you are currently. Then hit the tools button in the upper right corner and measure. You can switch between a line measurement and an area measurement and then change your units from square kilometers to acres. You simply start adding points to create a polygon and add a point every time the shape changes direction and when you're done you'll see the area and acres in the bar up top now for the difficult one a Venza match can be fun but it's much harder to you so you open up a Venza maps on the iPad the first thing you need to do is navigate to the store once you have the store open you can search for free base maps in your area. I live near the Arnold Rim Trail, and I know that the Arnold Rim Trail map from 2014 is not only free, but it has the same lake that I measured in the previous applications. Once the map is done processing, I can then open it. And once it's open, I can navigate to where I am, find the area I want to measure, and then I will open up the tool for draw and measure. Once you open the draw and measure tool, instructions will pop up on the top of the screen. It tells you to tap anywhere to add a vertex at the crosshair. You continue to do this every time the shape of the area changes direction, and when you're done, you'll be able to look at the area of this polygon. To do this, select the symbol at the bottom of the screen that looks like a protractor. Once you open that, you can hit the settings in the upper right and change the units to acres. This will allow you to see the size of the polygon you just created. I really hope this video has been helpful, and I wanted to remind you all to take advantage of my virtual office hours. You can find me every Wednesday from 3 to 4 p.m. on the Zoom link through Canvas, or we can set up something by appointment if you need more help. And make sure to look out for more videos on the adventures of the... Squither!